Thanks for being here in these tight quarters. Uh, what a great uh, win, and thank Buckeye Nation for supporting us, and also uh, much respect, as I told Coach Canada, that, uh, wow, was that a uh, just a back and forth, back and forth. You obviously saw it, and so much respect for him and his staff and his players fighting like that, what they've been through, and uh, I made that very clear, and, and uh, very fortunate to get out of there with a win, a win. and uh, just a phenomenal effort on offense, on defense, you know, uh, to give up those kind of yards is uh, obviously uh, very alarming, especially after I thought we had our, you've heard this before, a great week of practice. But uh, regardless, uh, we won our 10th game. Get ready for our rival next. Over here to the right, Tim. Yeah, Urban, when, when you, just your assessment of what was going on there defensively, especially in the first half. and what? Well, two were missed tackles is what I was told. Uh, I can't see from the ground level, but I'm going to watch it when I get back or maybe on the plane. and. Uh, missed tackles, and then they got behind us in coverage a couple times, and they only threw 13 or 11 passes. Yeah. And they had two big hits on us. And uh, yeah, six completed six balls for 180 yards. And, and on the two-point play, what did you guys expect? What do you remember in, uh, hearing on the headset? I wasn't even on the headset for that one. Yeah. Um, you know, I know they ran a shovel option. I even asked their coach afterwards. It looked like a shovel option or a shovel pass. If it's closed, then you can yeah. throw a pass, and that's uh, what they run. Very, uh, very unique offense, this is. Were you... Were you relieved they went for two, that this thing wasn't going to last very much relieved. longer? Yeah. I, I would have probably done the same thing if I was that coach, the way they were gaining yards on us, and uh, uh, relieved we won. Did McFarland look like that on tape to yeah, you? Yeah, he looked good. Not, I mean, he ran for 300 yards. Steve, hey Coach, uh, J.K. Dobbins, the day that he had a career day for him, just uh, what he was able to accomplish, 37, 38 carries, and then the situation Mike Weber just like did not play today after having a big game last week. Yeah, he uh, he practiced on Tuesday as a quad cruise, and it got worse. And we were hopeful all the way up until today. We just couldn't go. And Demario gave us a few plays. He gave us a dynamic kick return, to, and he's uh, going to be our kick return, obviously. And uh, yeah, without Mike, J.K. just rode the. We rode him 37 carries for 200 yards against that uh, very good run, top 20 defense. Ari. Urban, I know getting a win on the road in the Big Ten is tough, but when you see some of the defensive issues that we've been asking about all year, you know, 300 yards and rushing almost in the first <coughs> half, it didn't seem like you guys adjusted to the play that they, I mean, is it an alarming situation that you have here on defensively, given up 50 points? It is. You know, I thought we broke the rock a little bit the last couple of weeks with the limitation on big plays, and uh, they've played, you know, you look against Michigan State, we gave up other than a quarterback run, I think, for the whole day, 18, 20 yards rushing for the whole day, other than that when the QB uh, got out of there. So uh, alarming is the right word, uh, but we won, and let's go back to work, get ready for the next one. like moving forward, you guys are just going to have to learn how to win by giving up, you know, in no, 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 we're not going to accept that. Rob, middle here. Urban, you have fourth and one in the OT. What do you hear into your headset? Did you call the pass or just what did Jesse call Ryan it? Ryan called it. Uh, Obviously, I had to prove it, but uh, a very stout defense, and you know, we, we you know, the thing that you saw today in that short yardage is, you know, uh, Dwayne uh, went in there and kept the ball cup tight. You have to. There's, you know, I just don't know any other way, or you got to throw a lot. And fourth and one to, uh, uh, you know, I heard the call. What do you think? What do you think? And uh, uh, it was a great call. Over here to uh, behind the coach to the right, Doug. Urban. Uh, on the defense, though, when you, you know, we've been talking about giving up big plays. We've been talking about that since the beginning of the year. When you're in week 11 and you're having some of those same issues, is there something going on with the coaching that, that's not getting corrected when you're dealing with some of the same stuff this late in the year? Well, it's the players and coaches together. You know, if it's a missed tackle, then we're not teaching tackling enough. Uh, if it's a scheme issue, then that's a coaching issue. Uh, I can't give you the answer right now. I'll probably have a little more answer for you on Monday. Uh, but it's a very alarming. And, and just, again, the, the camera's on you all the time on the sideline. Just as you go through this emotionally, what's it like emotionally for you in a game like this? There did seem times when you're just, you know, you guys miss this or something happens, but then you do something great. What's it like for you? What's it like for you? I mean, I'm not getting. Oh, you know, okay. I, I got to write the story whether you know, win or lose, but I can't imagine. I just, it's frustrating when you see a pick six, when you see a, a, a tight end not release on a pass and the quarterback fumbles, and you see, uh, you know, uh, a guy that uh, very good running back for Maryland. So I mean, it's up and down, up and down. I look, you know, what a chess match down at the end of the game. When uh, you know, I wonder if they, you know, if they don't score there, more clock goes off, and I'm not sure what happens. So 
a very emotional game. And I've been doing this a long time, but that's a very – I think it's our, I can't remember how many overtimes we've been in, but we, we've uh, been pretty good in overtime games. Tony? Urban, uh, Dwayne Haskins has set a bunch of records at Ohio State, but what kind of step forward did he take as a, a team leader today? He ran harder than we've seen him before. He did. He did. What he kind did. Of step uh, did he take today? Yeah, he did. He, he needed to take that step. That's the next step in his career is the toughness, the leadership, and obviously uh, through, through the ball. Everybody, you got to remember now, that was a top 20 defense that we went against. And... Uh, I thought a lot of guys made some big plays for us, obviously. Austin? Urban, you know what's coming next Saturday. I wonder what you saw today as uh, if you think that this version of Ohio State is ready for that rivalry test. We'll have to play better than we did on defense or we won't win that game. So uh, that's that's going to be the message all week, and I anticipate we'll play much better. Over here to the left, Bill. Yeah, along those lines, how exasperating is this game for you for the last two weeks? Week in, right? You think you have problems solved? And you know, and mostly survive it. But how exasperating is it to coach this team right now? Exasperating? No, it's not at all. It's part of, like I said, done this a long time, and and we've had situations where one side's not playing very well. You know, last week against Michigan State, you know, the offense was hanging on by a thread, and the defense kept us in it. And so that's just part of the game. <coughs> and then uh, the kicking game saved the day. We we're talking about Drew Christmas this time last year, last week. So it's all part. It's up and down. And is it where we need to be? It's not. But we're 10 and 1, and we're going to try to find a way to be 11 and 1. And final two questions, gentlemen, right Coach, here to the front. Um, you've coached a lot of great quarterbacks in Tim Tebow and JT Barrett. Um, for Hacken, for Hacken, what would you say um, throughout this season the best thing he's improved on since becoming the starter? And what do you think for your offense you guys need to fix against Michigan or improve on? I think he, he made the point that what's missing was the toughness element and it, the opportunity pull the ball down and run and go get your yards. And he did that today. I thought that's the best he's done. I mean, uh, I think he scored. Yeah, he pulled it in and, and the rate read play and he dropped his pass.